Well, there's one journalist we know who always gets his facts straight. Skip Reming. Have you been to the supermarket lately? I hadn't. Then the other day, my Mexican housekeeper, Maria, called in sick, leaving me to do the shopping. Well, thanks to Maria's little stunt, I learned something. The grocery stores I grew up with are a thing of the past. Today, the simple act of putting food on the table means having to navigate an impenetrable maze of rainbow-colored trinkets where every turn is a one-way ticket to diarrhea town. Go to the grocery store, and your first stop had better be the dictionary aisle, Bob. The way things are labeled, it's the only way you'll know what you're getting. Organic, gluten-free, decaffeinated, and my personal favorite, homogenized. No thanks, homogenie. I'll take my milk the old-fashioned way, from the breast of a pregnant goat. And since when does food have to be food? Growing up, me and some local kids formed a gang. We called ourselves the street chefs, and we'd roam the neighborhood making meals on anything that wasn't nailed down. Hubcaps, linoleum tile, used prophylactics, those little pellets of mouse bones, owls cough up. That stuck to the ribs, all right, got you through the day. But you ask the stock boy where they keep the owl pellets today, and he looks at you like you escaped from a nervous hospital. Well, would a crazy person pick a fight with God? Huh? You hear me, God? I'm done eating your garbage. Thanks, Skip. Next week on Newsreaders, illegal immigration. You don't hear about many victories in this war. We'll tell you about one of them. And finally, tonight, we have two corrections. The first is that a second ago, I said that we have two corrections when we actually only have one. There is no second correction. I'm Louis LaFonda. Good night. Yeah.